Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. We are here picking up right where we left off. If you guys have missed out on any, like always, go back, check out the playlist. It'll get you caught up on the ones you have not yet seen. Absolutely not, Lynn. I do not need you for anything. <laughs> These guys are always talking. Uh, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go uh, get on that ship, I believe. I think that's what our plan was. So let's, um, yeah, there, there it's directing me. Let's see what's going to happen here. Kind of nervous. These guys have been kind of evil. They killed uh, Sarah Morgan. They've been chasing us, trying to stop us from getting all the artifacts. So I don't know what the heck uh, we're going to have happen here. Corco, that room of yours better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. Yo, I, I think promise. we got bigger problems this here. Like getting around to a tone. You understand? Uh Fine, fine, okay. She, she's got to oh. clean her room while we're about to go talk to these, uh, whatever they're called, Starborn and Hunters. Like, these guys Look are frigged up. Hey, you need something? Whoa, Heller, what, are, what kind of trick is this, my dude? How did you manage that? Are you okay? That's not normal, man. I gotta go. Maybe this will be better than what I got going on here. That's frigged up, dude. Uh, so we're gonna is that how we get out we get onto the Scorpius here? Let's go. I'm nervous. There they are. Hello. Hello. It's the Again. hunter. <laughs> I'll never forget Do what you, you did. The emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. I think I do recall Thank that. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty true. Yeah, I will just keep frigging you up. Tell me who you are, who the Starborn are. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. Hmm. Okay. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. Okay, so it's just a bunch the of people. The threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Hmm. Huh. So, they're all just a bunch of people. They're not working together, but they're all just trying to collect these artifacts for themselves? This is so weird. Um... I, I'm just gonna I could say I agree killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list I'm gonna say you're talking in circles I came to learn about the unity because that's what I think I really want to know about right yes let's talk about what really matters the unity you are on the path to it it is a place a gateway it is where we were reborn reborn You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? What? Sarah, it can't be you. I saw you die. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one what you've the been heck? to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the oh. artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. Whoa. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Yo, this is bonkers. I was not expecting to see her here. <laughs> and she's from another universe. She gathered the artifacts and went through a portal, and what the fudge, dude? Uh, I need to see this unity for myself. And that's the problem. 
All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Ah, oh, I see. Innocent that makes sense. Die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Hey, it should be me. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. Can we see they him? I want to see what he looks like. Caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. So I like the hunter. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Whoa. Keeper Aquilus? No, some other version of the same person? That's crazy. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. But you want to find a, a new universe. Seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. I think I should. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. So I should go. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Hmm. So I help one of you, we combine our artifacts, enter the unity. Bingo. Okay. Okay. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the hunters. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Hmm. So we can't all work together. Talk to the hunter, talk to the emissary, leave the Scorpius. What do I do? I know. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. What happens when you enter the it's unity? It's not an easy experience to describe, but the unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be oh. reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? It's a test, I think. Um... Who was I in your universe? What was I like? Yeah, I wonder what the other people of me are. I never are. know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. Hmm. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. Oh. Um. So you tried to protect the artifact, keep them from being abused. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain mm. more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. I think she's right. What exactly is the arm, Larry? When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. I want to do that. I think I should go with her. She seems like she's kind of more reasonable. This guy actually killed her in my universe. I'm not going to forget that. I will talk you to him, though. The emissary and their kind only want to control you. Hmm. After you attacked the lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. That's crazy, man. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. 
And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's mm, new. Wow. Dude, that's so weird that it's like the same sign. people. I don't get many of those anymore. They're like every universe, it's the same people. Is there not like different people in each universe? Is it just like copies on copies, but different things happen? That's crazy, man. What is this universe like? What is the unity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. But what do you and win? I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. But like, what are you gaining from just restarting over and over again? And if everybody decided all of a sudden they want to do this, everybody could become hunters and we could just have a whole bunch of people all just fighting to get the artifacts and go to the... It just doesn't make sense, his way. Call the emissary a hypocrite, why? They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force, all the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the unity itself doesn't judge. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave, and... I think I have to make a decision here. I think I have to go into the unity. I think I should go into the Unity. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. Oh, there cool. are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. Thank you. All I ever wanted was answers. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Man. Alright. Oh, I, I just uh, leveled up. Nice. Oh, that's actually the second level up. I, I did remember I had one last time and I never used it. Okay, I think, uh, let's see, there's so many. I think, like, this is probably going to be the most helpful, uh, increasing carrying capacity, because I'm always out of carrying capacity, and I can rank that up. Then, also, this one, I think, food and drink now 20% more. Can I do that? No, I have to consume 30 food or drink items. I thought I did that already. I didn't think I might go with the boost pack. It'll, uh, boost pack fuel regenerates more quickly. That, that'd be kind of nice, like, just getting to travel a little bit faster. Bouncing around using boost pack. That'll be cool. Uh, so I think we have to go back to cons... History of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend you so, Whoa, everybody's talking. Uh, I always get so, like, sidetracked when they all start talking. I kind of want to listen, but at the same time I don't, because they all just talk all the time. But, uh, we have to go back to Constellation, I believe and see what the others say and we also have to go to the moon of earth yeah return to the lodge tell them what i've learned about the unity the emissary has given me a key to a base on luna earth's moon saying i'll learn more about the artifacts if i investigate so we're gonna do this and this sounds good alpha centauri off we go all right so we're gonna go down here to jemison we're gonna land at the lodge. I don't think we can actually land at the lodge, but we can get as close as we possibly can. You know, we never really continued on with the Terramorph stuff. Like, the Terramorphs attacked New Atlantis, I remember that, but we never really, like, continued on that path. I think we kind of strayed oh, after a while. has got nothing on New Atlantis. True. This place is pretty nice, actually. I like all the green, you know? 
it's like they got big tall buildings and towers and stuff but there's also a lot of trees i think that's pretty cool so much history in these halls and if we're lucky we'll be adding some more yeah this is crazy like we're coming down to where we're gonna jump into the unity hey, soon i think i've been talking with the others and i'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye you're leaving you know oh to sarah yeah that's a good idea i'll be there noel promise Thank you. it wouldn't be the same without you there i'll have everything set up in a few days i i'm gonna see if i can get a new Everyone can you one seems more distant in the lodge ready to head yes, back out of course. i'm gonna see if i can take her with me are you ready looks like it's tag you're in andresia tag indeed sam we will see you later there we go let's get rid of sam he's kind of a dingus uh, Vladimir, so what... What now, dude? Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Uh, it's the center of a multiverse. We're building the way to Wait. it. Say that again? Yes. Multiple, multiple universes? Universes. You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Hate to be the responsible one. But the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Now nah, you guys can get this, this quick. Multiple universe thing for everyone. Yes. Get I it together, mind guys. A more detail. Yes, there is multiple universes. I met a version of Sarah. She told me the Unity creates the Starborn, and they can cross universes. Explains why the Starborn want the artifact so bad. Get them all, and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So like, does your self from the universe you're going to always end up dying because now you're going there and you're like replacing them or can you meet yourself in another universe dude this is so crazy it's just like it it boggles the mind this is our mission to go into the unknown you're right we have to see the unity for ourselves you know it now once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Sounds good. Uh, talk to Vladimir. All right, let's talk These to him. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Whoa. Uh, thanks, Vlad. I'll follow up on these. Catch a smile out there. Okay, so a few more artifacts, maybe, that we can go grab. All right, let's go, uh, Andreja. We're gonna go no artifact more hunting. No have shown up. Yet. So, like, when is, uh, she said she's having a funeral kind of thing, right? When is that? Is that, like, a mission here? Should keep an eye on when it's going to happen if I want to attend. Oh, it's, uh, five days? Okay. So we got time, I think, to go to the moon, right? And do that. Can we, uh... Can we jump to here? Let's go. Okay, we're just going straight there. That's crazy, man. That's probably way faster to basically just fast travel by the map like that. Instead of, like, going to the ship... But it's, it's like the immersion, you know? Oh, I have to go to my ship, take off, fly into space, then jump to the... It, I don't know. It's so weird. The fact that you can do it multiple ways is, is so cool. This game really is really cool. Oh, yeah. Look at that freaking jump pack, dude. That booster pack is so crazy now. Where's the entrance? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I can do that. Oh, okay, I think I found a way in. Let's go. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we have the key, okay, nice. It's like, wait, it's locked, but yeah. I, I remember, she gave us the key. We're good. We're chilling. 
Uh, sorry, Andreja, you'll have to, like, come through the next time. Only me this time. Hopefully nobody's here that's gonna, like, shoot at me or anything. This I need. We always need more snake oil. Always need more credits. I do need to be a little more picky about what I'm taking, because my inventory is always full. I did up my carrying weight, though, that last level up, so that, that's definitely helpful. Alright, so what do we have here? Oh, we're not getting an artifact. We're gonna learn, aren't we? It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Also, I would like this. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Yeah, I'm kinda wondering why that happened. That's interesting. Alright, let's see what we can learn here. Uh, Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be time for that later, for now. I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. That should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Okay, that's crazy. I'm wondering, like, I'm still wondering who made these freaking artifacts. Like, they're here, but, like, what? where did they come from? Who made them? Uh, we're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9. EDT reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on the radio for launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. Okay, cool. So we're going to go listen to this recording up on the roof. I'm going to talk to Andreja here because I haven't, like, brought her along with me for a while. Let's see what she says. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, I don't think there's any new conversation we can have. I would figure, like, after everything that happened, there would be something, you know? Right? Alright, so how do we get up on the roof? Is it through here? Is there, like, an elevator somewhere? I, it's right there, but how do I... I could just go outside and, and jump up there, can't I? I mean, that's probably the best way. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> I did it. Did it again. Ooh, that's cool. I just... Puts my helmet on real quick. I don't know how you're going to get up here, Andre. Just sorry. Good luck. Maybe you can find some stairs or something. You don't got no boost pack. Can you put a boost pack on your companions? All right, let's see. Almost complete. Total time, 5 minutes, 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium-3 valves holding, Nova? We double-checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs free. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One the miracle of science at a time can were likely coordinated from here. Down. Five, four, Strange three, to be standing on such a two, unique bit of history. One. That's what we're learning about, Andreja. You're talking over it. We're listening to the recording. <laughs> Canaveral. Clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. So is that a ship from Jupiter? will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all huh. pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Huh. Go to NASA. Oh, we're going to NASA? Yo. Like, are we going on Earth? To, this is crazy. This is like the, the origins of uh, space travel in the game here. That we're learning about. How it all came to be. Well, this is seriously like such an expansive game. Like, there's so much going on here it's good to be back in our own ship nice to see you good to see you too lynn hey every there. time she always says it i gotta use the toilet house y'all wait out there don't come in i'm using the toilet there we go toilet time <laughs> all right i didn't wipe let's go 
Get out of the way. There was no need to wipe. Get out of the way. Let's go. We must go. Can we go to all the planets in the solar system here? Like, could we go to Mars? Oh, we did go to Mars, actually. But could we go to, like, Jupiter and... There's Earth, I think, right? Yeah, that is Earth. So we're gonna jump there. Actually, we don't need to jump because we're in the, the solar system. We're, like, at the moon. Just a quick flight. Alright, so we need to go to NASA Launch Tower. Let's go. What about um, SpaceX? Why is there no SpaceX involved here? Why is it all NASA? I feel like SpaceX has been doing a lot more for space travel than NASA. I thought they took the rocket ship off and flew it to Jupiter. Were they able to bring it back and reuse it? Because it's here. Are we going to go get inside of it? Yo, that boost pack recharge rate is so nice. Feels so weird like seeing Earth like this. It's all just barren desert wasteland. Find a way inside. Okay. We shall do that. NASA launch tower. We've discovered it. So now we need to find a way to get up to there. Can I simply boost pack my way up or something? Or is there some special way to do this? What are your thoughts, Andreja? I almost called her Sarah Morgan. I'm just so used to it. Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all uh -huh. the dust. I see. There's a door here. Can we open door? Power required. Okay. Uh, power cells. We need to put a power cell in. That should power this. And then I think we can do this. Yeah, we're in. Ooh, there's stuff in here. Com relay, com relay. We need a little bit of light. Can we can we do some climbage? Ooh, med pack, trauma pack. Um, it doesn't seem like we can get anywhere from this door. Apparently, when freezing to death, one may experience a warm, cozy feeling. I would prefer not to verify that firsthand. Are we freezing to death? Is it cold here? It's like desert. I thought it would be kind of warm, right? Yeah, I don't see any way up here. Should I just take this back out? Wondering up here, maybe if there's another doorway, elevator. Oh, is this it? Is this actually the elevator? It's just the shaft, though. There's not actually an elevator. So how do we manage to... I guess we could take the stairs, no? I'm down for doing a little bit of climbing. I ain't scared of no stairs. I just gotta find where they freaking start, if that's possible. I think we can maybe hop our way up here. Get onto the stairs over here. Yeah, see, there is no, like, way to get onto these. There's no start. And we gotta do some, like, parkour. This is kind of sketchy. Yep, you could f easily fall down here. They did not maintain this. We're getting up higher, though. I think that's good. I don't think the elevator was a viable option. Alright, can we walk across these pipes? Dude, this is really crazy. We're doing some major parkour. Oh, I found, uh, I think I found the way in. There's an elevator right over here. Yes, indeedy. We have to power it, maybe? Push button? Power required. Where is the powering place? There is this. What is this? Oh, it's the powering place. Okay, cool. And more power cells. I think I have, like, a surplus of these power cells. I've been picking them up, like, all over the place. I don't think I've used all of the ones that I've gathered. This is... It's all right, Andreja. Come on in. We're just using this really old elevator from, like, the remnants of Earth, even though it's been destroyed for a long time. All right, find information about NASA. Let's do that. There's a book. It's probably a good way to start, right? Nah, we're going for Whoever computers. Whoever once used this room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it was built. I oh, know. Look at this. Look at this place. I knew it. It's always computers. Frig books. We're using computers. Launch procedure. Remember, the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances, 
Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be, but these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled. Well, let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a little bit safer, and we can use every ounce we can get. Okay. Uh, access station logs. Let's see. Error. Archives damage. Running system recovery. Partial ar archives retrieved. Delivery from Mars. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Hmm. Could this be artifacts that they grabbed, maybe? Dr. Victor Aiza. Dr. Judith Tatian. I've been trying to cozy up to Dr. Aiza, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Did he? Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. It's I, the artifacts. Guarantee it. I think I'm being invited into the lab. Guarantee they found the uh, artifacts. Meeting today. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals. Atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I. I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Dang, dude. Crazy. So is that, uh, is that it? Have we learned what we needed to learn? I think, uh,. What now? Oh, we keep going farther? We're going farther in. Oh, I bet there's an artifact here. This looks like some mines where you would find an artifact. There's always places like this. Uh, oh, we gotta go down? Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Digipix. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go on. Let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, let's, uh, let's check this place out. I guarantee they have an artifact here somewhere. It seemed like uh, it was going to be some cavage, but we've actually entered like a new sort of observing area, it seems like. This is so cool, seeing like the landers and stuff. Touch screen to learn more. NASA partnered with Nova Galactic, the creators of Voltaire Computer System, ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. The result is the first spacecraft capable of faster than light travel. The first successful voyage saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments. What would have previously taken years? This seems like maybe they did kind of add in the uh, SpaceX, but under a different name, because that's kind of what's happening now, right? Like, NASA's sort of partnering with SpaceX to do some stuff. What's going to be in here? Is this a way out, maybe? Because it, it is an airlock. That might just be a way out. I don't think we're ready for that. Aha, Judas personal personal <laughs> personal recording. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects, no motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to pump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? Hmm. I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Yo. That's wild. Oh, we're going deeper in. Alright, onward we go. 
You know, I didn't realize NASA had so many deep tunnels and caves going through their buildings and stuff, you know? It's kind of crazy. The secrets that we're learning here. Looks like early testing for planetary habitats. Oh. And the looks on their faces if we could show them all that we have learned. Right, if they could see what we're building now. It's crazy. Hey, but you gotta start somewhere, right? This facility covered quite a range of disciplines. But if you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Oh, Andreja wants to speak to me now? What's up? So, we finally have all the answers. And yet, here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. True. This talk of the unity of a, a multiverse, dead friends appearing again. Yeah, that part's kind of wild. That threw me off. Uh, the artifacts, the powers, the starborn, it all seems to add up, I guess. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. We hmm. must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the unity? What if it does nothing the Starborn have claimed? We could follow the one who he murdered, but from another universe. With all that I've seen, all I've been through, this just feels true. So you would just step into this unity based on what? Feelings? You I guess no so, yeah. You have idea what will happen if you do. None at all. Uh, it's okay to be scared. This is a huge leap. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true. If you pass into this unity and come out in in some other universe, look at who they are and what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not hmm. at all worried that this That's true. would befall you? I guess it then could happen, right? Become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us. Uh, this is all just theory until we have all the artifacts. Let's focus on that I first. Feel very much like you are just trying to delay this conversation as long as possible. But you are not wrong. And certainly at this point, we would not want the artifacts falling into any other hands. Yeah, worst case, we Ontario, should we should just it. get them all so that way now that we, we have them. To work towards, there's no time to waste. Is she mad? She Okay, she didn't disapprove of that. I thought she was going to have some major disapproval there. Alright, so I've got a marker there, but I don't know how to actually get at it. Is there another doorway that I missed? I mean, there must be a way through here somewhere. How the heck do I get to that side of the wall? Can't go up there. Help me, Andreja. Aha, no, this is closed off. Do we go up? Maybe we gotta go up to go down? Aha, I think I, I think that is the way. A little sneaky kind of up a rock way. Power required. Where, uh... It's always a struggle to find out where I put the power. But I got so many powers. Alright, did that, uh, that should power it. Yep, we're good. Let's go. More down and deep tunnels. This is this is good. This is just like the NASA that I know. Deep tunnels underneath their buildings. Rock collapsed everywhere. Oh yeah. That's exactly it. There is emergency power cell. I'm always grabbing those whenever I find them. You never know how many of them things you're going to need. Uh, yep, there we go. There's where it goes. Another frigged up door. We gotta be getting close, man. We've been running forever. This is this is so spooky. Now we're going back up. I thought we were trying to get down. How do we? What? How do we get down by going back up again? More tunnels, maybe. Being advised that this is now Whoa! I just got attacked by a the frig. Why? Why is this happening? Robot model? Oh, he's a 36. He's level 36. This is bad. He's a tough guy. Yo, this ain't gonna be easy. I'm already almost out of ammo. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Assassin's Calibrated Coachman. Okay, we'll switch up to that. 
Uh, Andreja, you kind of need to get in there though, because I'm not I'm not doing so hot. Ooh, that was a critical. That was good. Critical. Oh, this thing does massive damage. Oh, he said it at the same time as me. That's crazy. Best not to leave any. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, hey, hey. I gotta get close. There we go. You gotta get close with this thing. Whoa, hey, hey. Nice. Oh, there's more. That one's deactivated. I mean, I figured there had to be some fighting in here at some point, right? It's just a matter of time. Do you think Vasco would see his likeness in this model? Yeah, you think Vasco would be like, look, it's my great-grandfather. Uh, where to now? It's another switch here. Uh, power required. Do we have to power that? Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure we have to go down there. So we are going to have to power this and get this open. But where do we power it? There's wires. Follow the wires, I suppose. Well, they kind of split off here. Oh, is it? It goes into here. How does that help me? Maybe it's in through here? Nope, too difficult. Is there some power thing in here? Aha, here it is. This is on the other side of the wall where I think I was looking at. Yep, we got it. Ooh, did you pick? Always grab those. Is there any more of them, like, batteries? Emergency batteries? I'd like to grab them if I can. Alright, let's see what happens here. Downward we go. More doors. They should call this place more door because there's more doors. The scope of this facility is massive. Yeah, I I'm. How many knew how big it really was. I'm honestly blown away because I don't think this is really how big it is. This is, this is definitely not a real life uh, representation here. I don't think. Ooh, we have another computer. Are we gonna learn more things? How do these computers all have power still? Check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. These are direct orders from the secretary. Absolutely. No phones or recording devices. All written material, clipboard, notebooks. Be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Yes, that's good. You know, got to be super secretive. April 14th, 2138. Project Log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us. Yo. It's all going to be possible. That's wild. They're making some major advancements here. Project Lock. Dr. Judith Tatien. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. All right, we've gained even more knowledge here. Do we continue on? We just keep going. It just keeps going deeper and deeper. Can we just jump down this elevator shaft? We must be oh. nearing the artifact. Oh. If it is here, we should not give up now. Yo, I was like, should we just go down here? And actually, we can just kind of go down here. Look at what happened. You float. What the butts? Space to float up, control to float down. Aha. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, right here. Yo, why did we lose gravity all of a sudden? 
kind of wild. I don't know what's happening. I must be close, though, right? Oh. There's actually a dead body here. Oh, that's gross. He had credits and penicillin on him, though. Maintenance key. Uh, release artifact. Prototype access. Huh. What do I require? Do I have to use the computer? Prototype drive. Okay. Please be aware whenever running power through the prototype, secure all loose objects and researchers, empty pockets, remove jewelry watches. The core of the drive contains specimen that is irreplaceable. All data is under the strictest clearance. So has all caution with all research materials and ensure information does not leave this lab. Okay. What is I this? never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the craft drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we've seen. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? I don't get what he's getting at. Are we going to learn something? Are we going to be able to access this here? Um, God, there's so much to read. I here we go. I like the listening ones. <laughs> All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start oh. sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem. Under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth. And you're trying to be subtle about it. Judas, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet. But more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God. One that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time, I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. Sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Dang, dude. So Victor knew he was destroying Earth with his grav drives, but he just did it anyway. But he, do he does have a good point. Like, if you can make this work and get to other planets that are habitable, you just secured humanity forever. They're going to be a space-traveling um, people. And, you know, we're going to be able to go to any planet and live on any planet and reproduce there. And we're going to have infinite, infinite possibilities, basically. So, I don't know. She's kind of, it's hard to say. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. 
But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Huh. Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Ah, so they used an artifact to develop grav drive, and that's the why the Earth got destroyed. But it also pushed us into space. Let's release this artifact. How do I get out there? How do I get to it? Oh, did we, uh, is gravity back? How do I, how the freak do I get out there? There must be a doorway somewhere. There's stairs over here. Oh, is it this door here? Nope, that's a locked door. How the fudge do I get out there? Victor, I know you're all dead and stuff, but please. Oh, okay, I see. There was another door here that was locked, but it's giving me access to this. Maybe this is going to lead me to there? Maintenance key, med pack. How are these bodies still, like, here? How are they not just gone by now? Is this the... Is this the way back out of here? Or is it... Oh, there it is. Okay, I see. We're there. Oh, there it is. The first artifact. Artifact Psy. Let's get it. We've arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company. We gotta go. We gotta go. You but you could evade me. Where are they? Where the frig are they? Aha, Starborn. I'm going for him. I gotta take this fool out. We got company. I am gonna die. I am in bad shape. This is not good. I need... I need some sparkling water. That'll do it. Need some ramen. Where's my... Oh, there's the med pack. There we go. That's gonna do it. Much better now. Now we can take this fool out. I gotta get close, though. That's the best way to do it. You gotta get real close. Got him. I've gained a quantum essence. I don't know what that does for me. Is there any more? Or are we chilling for now? How do we escape here? Is there a way up here to escape? Oh, maybe there's a way through here. But uh, either way, we're going to go ahead and call it a day for today. Hopefully you enjoyed another episode here of Starfield. If you did, hit that like button down below. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on future streams or videos. Join the Discord. You can come by and chat. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And that'll get you access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. As well as a bunch of other cool perks like emojis you can use in chat. Emojis next to your name that say what level you are. You will also get videos early so as soon as i upload them you'll be able to see them where everybody else has to wait for them to come out either the next day or it could be a week later you know it just kind of depends uh, another great way to support would be checking out some merch we got these cool shirts and also hats and uh drinking glasses all kind of stuff like that so check it out if you want to get some interesting stuff but uh anyways guys thanks again for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next one peace